beauties and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, please click the subscribe button, join the family and let's get to know one another. Um, I know I've been away for a while, it's been a hot minute, um, but we have recently just been traveling and a little bit, things have gone a bit crazy, So, um, but I'm back. So if you would like to see this look that I created on my channel, please um, subscribe and then carry on and watch this video. Enjoy guys, bye. Okay, so first things first is that I'm going to mist and prep and prime my skin. So I'm going in with the Fresh Fix Setting Mist from Chic Cosmetics and I'm just gonna spray the face, just like that, um, just to set the face and to start with the makeup. After we've sprayed that, I'm going in with the Toucher Dewy Skin Cream. So this I purchased about a month ago from Muse Beauty. It is so, so, so good. It smells very, very nice. It looks something like that. So this literally just, it moistures the skin. It puts a little bit of collagen back into the skin. It's really, really good. I'm going in, I'll just quickly check how cute is this packaging before I move on. <laughs> Look how cute is this? And then it comes with like a little, like a little stick that you can just like dip into the cream and put back. So this is really, really cute. Okay, so next is I'm going in with a NARS Super Radiant Booster, which I also purchased at Muse Beauty. So this is going to give the skin a little bit of a, like a glowy, illuminating touch. So it looks like that. And I'm just gonna put that also just all over the skin, just to give the skin a very, very nice glow. Done and done. I'm going in with Smashbox Photo Finish um, Foundation Primer. So this is like a silicone based primer. As you can see, it looks like that. And I'm literally just gonna put that where I get the most oil on my skin, where I feel I need the most like coverage and that type of thing. So that's really like around my nose, my T-zone a bit, um, and then my chin. So that's just gonna literally like suck up everything, which I love. I'm going in now with the new Smashbox um, Studio Skin Full Coverage Foundation. So this has recently launched, I think about a month or two ago. Um, I've got the shade, um, my skin tone is light in 2.12. So it looks like this is like a little tube. And then when you just take the little lid off, it comes like in a little tube like this, which is really nice. It's nice for traveling as well. If you travel quite a bit, you can just pop it into your handbag or into your little travel makeup kit or something like that. And then, like I said, I've, I have spoken about this on my Instagram. Um, you literally need like a little bit because this goes a long way. So I'm literally just taking this much because this little, um, this little foundation is potent, okay? So we don't need a lot of this. And then I'm just gonna dot that everywhere where I need the coverage. And like I say, this is super full coverage. So you really don't need tons and tons of this product. And this foundation also dries down to a matte. So it's not dewy, it hasn't got a satin finish. It is matte coverage, super full matte coverage. So if you're looking for something like that, I would recommend this Smashbox cover uh, foundation. Okay, so once the foundation has been put on, I'm going in with two of my favorite concealers that I've, I've had for a while, but that I've recently really used quite a bit of. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. So I've got the shades 328 and 327. And look how nice this is, Dofa. It really reminds me also of the Shape Tape. It's similar, so this is like a dupe for the shape tape if you're looking for a drugstore concealer. So I'm just going in with that. Just adding it here. And this is also nice um, coverage to the skin. So if you feel like maybe your foundation isn't super full coverage like you want it to be, this will make it super full coverage. Now I'm going in with number 328. And then taking my Real Technique sponge, taking this side, this flat side of the sponge, I'm just gonna work that into the skin. Okay, so now after we've done that, I'm going in 
with my Too Faced Boneless Waist Setting Powder. So I'm just gonna set underneath my eye and a little bit down my nose. It's almost like a little bit of baking. So I'm just gonna tap this out into the lid. Just like that. I'm just gonna go in and just going to go underneath my eye. And I'm also just gonna take a little bit and go down the bridge of my nose and a little bit on top there. And so once I've done that, I'm just going to take a little brush like this and I'm just gonna wipe or dust away that excess. Okay, so after we've done that, I am going in with the Fit Me Maybelline Matte Poreless um, Powder, which looks something like this. So that is that, and I have got in the shade 220 Natural Beige, and just put that everywhere. Oh, that's so good. I'm take my little fan. Oh, especially in the hot weather, this is so nice. I got this face palette from um, Violet Voss, which I have been loving, loving, loving so far. So this is called the Glamingo Face Palette. So it looks like this. So it's a blush, a highlight, and a bronzer. So you know I love a palette that is like a two-in-one or a three-in-one or a four-in-one. So anything that comes in a palette or something like this where you don't have to have little bits and bobs, I love. So this is called, like I said, the Gringo palette from Violet Voss. So you have your blush shades, you have your highlighting shades, and then you have your contour and your bronzing shade. And it comes with a very big mirror here, as you can see. So this is really, really nice. These colors are gorgeous. I've been playing around a little bit with this, so it's really, really nice. Morphe R8. And I'm just going to dip into the little bronzing or little contour palette shade. Dust that off, and I'm just going to contour my nose quickly. And then taking my bigger brush, my bigger um, bronzing brush, I'm dipping into that color again, that same shade, tapping off the excess, and I'm just going to bronze up the skin a bit. And just the forehead. Then I'm going to dip into the Fake and Bake little bronzing shade so it looks like that which is absolutely beautiful look at that that is literally i didn't even have to dip in my hand or dip into the palette very hard for that so i'm just going in with that and this is just going to give a nice sheen to the skin so i'm just going to go over that a little bit like that into um white sand and paradise highlighters um just to now highlight the skin so Let's go in there, mix a little bit of that, mix a little bit of that, tap off the excess, and let's highlight the skin. How pretty is that? Oh, you guys know me, I love a good highlighter. So this is super pretty. It's not too much, but it's also like not too subtle, which I love. Oh, that is stunning. So after we've done that, we are going into the blush. So this is going, we're going into Flamingo and Sweet Cheeks. So like I said, I'm also just gonna mix that two together, tap off the excess, and we're just going to give the cheeks a little bit of a rosy, a rosy color to them. Okay, so now that the skin and the face and the bronzing and the highlighting and all that is done, I'm gonna go in and prime my eyes with my Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm just going to take my Little Real Technique sponge, so it looks something like this. And I'm just gonna dip into that little pot like that. And I'm just going to prime the eyes so that we can put the eyeshadows on my eyeballs, basically. Okay, so once the eyes is primed, I'm going in now also with a new little palette that I've recently discovered. Well, not recently discovered, it's been out for a while, but for us, <laughs> it's new. Um, this is the Jure Tan Lines Matte Shimmer and Luxe Foil Eyeshadow Palette. So it looks something like this. And oh, it's beautiful packaging. I love like this raised gold type of packaging, which is super pretty. 
And then when you open her up, oh, these are the colors that you get. So you're getting a little bit of like your nudes, your um, foil colors, then you got a, a nice brown. Then look how beautiful are these teal and blues and greens and yellow colors. So this is what it looks like. I just want to swatch this blue color for you guys. So just swatching this blue. Oh, wow. how, oh how gorgeous is that? So I'm going to start off with my basic transition shade. So I'm just going to go into, let's go into this pink. So this one is called Heat Wave. So it's this color over here. So I'm just going to dip my brush in there tip of the excess and just start this as my transition shade. Then I want to really go into this tide pool, this blue is calling my name, it's beautiful. So I'm going in with my Dupe Factory little brush like this and I'm just gonna dip into this blue and I'm gonna put this all over my lid. I don't know if the camera is picking up, but it's got like little chunks of glitter in, which is beautiful. Then I'm gonna dip into, um, let's actually go with this green, why not? I'm gonna dip into this lime green, which is called Lime Light. And I'm going to just even that blue and that transition shade out. So we're going for a bit of a colorful look today, why not? So we're working with something like this. I'm just going to take my fan brush and just brush off the excess. Now I'm going to go in with this yellow, which is called Sunburst. And I just want to put that in the inner corner of my eyes. So it pops even more. Oh, look how beautiful that is. It's almost like a shimmer yellow, which is beautiful. Oh, wow. Then I'm just going to go and put those colors underneath my eyes. So I'm actually just going in with this, um, with Tide Pool again, which is this blue. And I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes. Okay, so after we've done my eyes and my eyes are ready to go, I'm going in with my Benefit Roller Liner, which looks like this. I have spoken also a lot of times about the Benefit Roller Liner on my channel, on my Instagram, really, really good eyeliner. Also very good for beginners if you just want to quickly zip in and out. So I'm just going to do a quick wing eyeliner with this. So once we have done the wing eyeliner, I'm then going in with a Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and I'm just going to coat those lashes. Okay, then going in with some lashes, I'm going in with the Pinky Goat Sahara lashes, so they look like this, and you could just pop them on to complete the look. So once the lashes are on, I'm going in with the Benefit a Goof Proof Brow Pencil. So it's got a spoolie and it's got the pencil. So this is number shade 5. So I'm just going to brush my eyebrows up just to get any product that was left in our brows out. And then I'm going to take the pencil side, which looks like this. And I'm just going to fill in any sparse um, places and he's that I see or that I want to fill in. And then after that, I'm taking my Benefit Gimme Brow Gel, which is also in the shade 5, 
and I'm just combing this gel through my brows just to make them a little bit more fluffy because I'm loving the fluffy brow look at the moment and I'm just combing through that like that and then I'm taking my Benefit, I know it's a lot of Benefit brow products, um, I'm taking the 24 hour brow setting gel and I'm also just going to set my brows in place and comb them up. Like that. So once that is done, I'm going to take then my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I'm going to set everything in place. taking my trusty fan again and then after that I am going in with lip products so the three lip products that I love because I usually go in with a lip liner a lipstick or lip liquid lip and then lip gloss so I'm going in with the NYX, NYX lip liner in um, peekaboo neutral so I'm just going to outline my lips and do that And then gonna go in with the next soft matte lip cream in the shade London so this is the color a very nice brownie neutral color I'm just gonna put that on my lips once I've completed the lipstick I am then going in with the next filler instinct um, plumping lip polish in sparkling please which has also got like a little glitter and little things in it, which is super pretty. And look how it shines. So this really, really shows up on your lips. That is the end look. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, click the link below, subscribe, join the family. I will be uploading more videos. Sorry, I've been a little bit quiet, but I will be uploading more videos. Join the family and I will see you in my next video. Bye.